Hi guys and welcome back to Marathon CrossFit and today we're going to talk about how you can combine the Jim Wendler method with the West Side method. So um, in case you don't know what the three the two programs are, uh, 531 is a lifting program and West Side method is also and the main difference is that 531 works with a monthly progression without any chains or bands because Jim Wendler is not really a fan of those. Whereas with the West Side method, you actually will use chain and bands to um, work on your explosiveness out of the hole, either on the squat or on the bench press or on the deadlift. Um, so on Jim Wendler, you will train four days a week um, if you do it as written. Some people like to do it two times a week or three times a week, which slows down progress. I discussed that in other blog posts. And with the West Side method, the main thing that you're actually doing is you're establishing a one rep max um, each week on a certain variation of a lift and you also um, do the explosiveness work. Now, what I decided to do is that I would introduce a fifth day on the Jim Wendler method where I would do bench presses and squats with bands. Um, what that helps you with is actually to um, do more explosiveness out of the hole. How I would do that is I would have four weeks in Jim Wendler and I would start with 40% of my one rep max in the first week, 50% in the second, 60% in the third week, plus chains or bands. Um, usually, usually the uh, resistance I would use with the chains and bands would be somewhere around the 20 to 30 kg mark on each side, um, so that you get that kind of an effect that down in the hole um, it is the lightest and when you have to push out it becomes harder gradually. Um, you can read up on all of this in a bit more detail, which I would definitely recommend, but would um, go over time and over limit here. Um, but if you wanted to do and combine West Side with Jim Wendler, I'd say do it only on speed uh, and not on the one rep maxes, um, because that just fucks up the whole programming. And also be aware that if you train five days a week, it gets pretty intense. Um, especially on the band and chain, chain days. And I personally think that contributed to my injury on Jim Wendler 531 because I didn't do it as written. So that is always the risk that you run when you combine two programs to get somewhere quicker and getting a bit greedy. Um, that will be it for the day. And I hope you enjoyed the content. Please like, please share, please subscribe and tell your friends about it. And if you have any questions, please pop a comment below. I'm always here to help. Bye bye.